Hey everybody, and welcome back to Warren and Off. Let's get started immediately. I think last time we played Andriel, so let's do Eridan. And uh, launch game. Yes, launch the game, please. That is what I asked you to do. Alright. So, last time we defeated the uh, giant, the rogue. Giant, I think, and this time we're, um... Well, first of all, we're leveling up. I can see that much. Um... And then we're, like... I guess we should just give him more dexterity? What would auto sign do? Okay. Willpower. I guess that makes sense, yeah? Sure. Okay. So I've been focusing him on arrows, it seems. Uh, press LT plus I to fire an arrow to stun short target and enables follow up cranial attack. Yes, please, why not? Shared bonus increases the damage to each party member and flicks with headshot. Yes. Alright, well, I guess we're just talking to people. Because uh, there's plenty of things to do. What's this? Proceed. No. It is a fine day for flying, don't you think? Are you kin to Bellaram? No, but he has always guided me. Bellaram taught me tricks of the air and secrets of the wind. We often hunt together. He's shown me the fine art of snatching a wild sheep from the side of a mountain, and how to dive upon a wolf and pluck hairs from its tail. Wherever Bellaram leads, I will follow. That is pretty skilled. Are you one of the eagles who helped Bilbo Baggins in his quest? I haven't met Bilbo, though I've heard much about him. My father was one of those who carried a dwarf, and later fought in the Battle of Five Armies. I was considered too young and inexperienced to take part in the battle. I have much to do if I'm to match my father's fame and valor. Do you bear us willingly? Great eagles were not meant to carry burdens, Baron Thor. I would not have you continue to carry us against your will. Yeah, I am don't more than willing. I had long begged the Windlord for a chance to prove myself. I don't fear orc, goblin, or troll. Let's return to the air and put fear into the hearts of our enemies. It is a grand adventure. Ah, oh, yay! He's willing. That means he dies normally. What do you know of Mount Gundabad? I've never been there, but I know it's a high peak that lies far to the north, on the edge of the frozen wastes, and that it has long been infested with orcs. We do not nest there. When the north wind blows across the wastes, it racks the mountain with blizzards driven by fierce It's weird scales. to just hear a normal voice coming out of this animal. Wind. I mean, it's cool, but it's also like, should you really be talking like an old person? Shouldn't be maybe have like a a big booming voice, <laughs> or just a like a like a kapog? <laughs> like I don't know. Like maybe even just have uh, have do like a an eagle scream sound sound effect, and then uh, just have <laughs> just have subtitles to that. It's weird to hear them, uh, just be... Oh, who is this person? Welcome, Dunedain. Welcome to Imladris. Are you in need of anything to help you in your travels? I have many things in my keeping that might serve you well. Oh, it's a store. Oh. Hi! Buy my shit! Um... Actually, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. can I afford it though? I can. <coughs> uh, bro, put this on. Yeah. Those who venture into the wild must be well prepared. 
Show me what you have. Sell. I should sell this and this. Oh, that's why I want will, because I can then I can wear these. Uh, I need to go for my stuff. See, this she this is a good sword. This is one hand sword as well, so. There's a lot of good stuff here. Uh, get rid of this. Sell unessential items. There we go. Uh, sell us your potions and your arrows. on the items. Put that on. Put that on. Put that on. Yes! Uh, there we go. Look at me now! Screw you all! I am grateful to you, Dunedan. Even our high areas were threatened by the giant Bagrasar. You have my thanks. What can you tell me of your leader, Gwaihir? Gwaihir is the Lord of the Eagles. He can outfly the North Wind, and his word is law. <laughs> Long ages of the world have passed since ancient Thorondor, first and greatest of Eagle Lords, soared over Middle-earth. But Gwaihir is the mightiest descendant of that line. He is wise and sees much that others miss. Oh, that's good, though. Were you one of the eagles that took part in the Battle of Five Armies? So I was. When the Allied armies found themselves set upon by goblins who had stealthily scaled the mountain slopes, I was among those who set upon the enemy and cast them from the cliffs to perish. Flying upon an eagle's back is a rare privilege. I wonder why it is you volunteered for this task. It was enough for me that Belaram wished to join you. But there is also this. One of the eagles the stone giant slew was my own father. You avenged him, and for that act alone I would bear any of you to the farthest ends of Middle-earth. And though Bagrasar is gone, I still burn with the need for vengeance against the master that sent him against us, Agandar. Your enemy is my enemy. I will not rest until he is brought down. Awesome, dude. Are you ready for a long flight to Mount Gundabad? We are strong and rested. Bellaram awaits you whenever you wish to depart. He is our leader in this venture. All right. <laughs> I like that they're like putting their faith in Bellaram. Uh. Welcome back, Eridan. I saw you arrive, and I must say, it made for a fine sight. We have something in common now, my friend. We are among the few who can claim to have ridden on the back of an eagle. Although I'm sure you enjoyed your journey more than I, truthfully, I found the whole experience rather terrifying. 
For my part, I have never experienced anything to match the thrill of soaring among the clouds. I'm eager to take to the air again. I suppose that shouldn't surprise me, coming from one brave enough to fight with giants. Oh, yes. I've heard all about your adventures in the Etten Moors. Everyone in Rivendell is talking about it. I've seen stone giants with my own eyes. It's beyond me how you managed to get the better of one. I did not do it alone. Let's not forget that I had Andriel and Farah there with me, and the Eagle Bellaram as well. Even so, it was still quite <coughs> a feat. Frankly, I'm surprised a giant would make war upon us in this way. The ones I encountered seemed caught up in their own affairs and not the least bit concerned with me or my companions. In this, we see the hand of Agendaur. I'm certain it was he who corrupted the giant. Agendaur again. Oh, I don't like hearing about that one. Especially when I think about places like Bree or the Shire. It seems like there is so little to stand in his way. We stand in his way. And we intend to find this Kerr of Sauron and deal with him once and for all. I believe you will find a way to do that, my friend. You have certainly made a good start by thwarting his plans at Fornost and the Etten Moors. You know, someone should be setting down this story of yours. It's certainly worthy of being remembered. Hmm, I, I do have my own book to finish, but uh, perhaps when that's done... Perhaps, if you, you aren't completely broken by the ring by that point. And one day I can write your story. What do you say to that? It would be an honor to have our story recorded by so worthy a chronicler. Very well, then. Why don't you start at the beginning? It began some weeks past at the Sarn Ford. And so, with the giant dead, the great eagles joining our cause, we returned here to Rivendell to inform Elrond of all we had learned. Outstanding! What a riveting tale! There is enough there to fill a volume or two already. I just hope I managed to get it all straight. I tried to take good notes. Uh, you really must come back later to let me know how it's progressing. I shall, if time and fortune allow. Now, I should be on my way. Farewell. Oh, that was cool. The Chronicler. So, Bilbo will actually write down what's going on here. I think that is wonderful. Gundabad awaits us. What should we expect when we reach Mount Gundabad? I can tell you little. The stronghold of Gundabad is carved into a great mountain peak covered in snow and ice. We rarely fly that far north because of the treacherous winds and blizzards that howl from the frozen wastes beyond. It is an ancient abode of enemies, and we must approach it with the greatest caution. Have we any chance then to carry out this mission? Three alone cannot hope to stand against all the orcs of Gundabad. Only stealth will serve you. We must search out a secret way that will not pit you directly against your foes, or you will stir up a hornet's nest such as you cannot imagine. I have seen you three triumph against desperate odds. If you cannot find a way, then no one can. My companions and I will be there to help as best we may, but once you enter the confines of Gundabad, there will be little that we can do. We will keep that in mind. Farewell for now. Oh yeah, he can actually help us inside the... Oh, speak to Bilbo at Wyvernell again. Okay. You will be careful on your trip to Mount Gundabad, won't you? It sounds frightfully dangerous, but I suspect you'll come through all right. If you keep your wits about you. I... I, I shall expect a full account of your adventure when you return. Good luck to you. There we go, I talked to him. Alright, let's uh... Mount Gundabad. I still don't have... Uh, I really need to stop looking for it. <laughs> Alright, let's travel. Lord of the Rings, war in the north, looking for the troll shawls the entire time. Oh. I hope we reach our destination soon, or this weather may prove more deadly than the orcs. Take heart, we are nearly there. 
and this snowfall will hide us from the eyes of the enemy below. Belram, look! Above the mountain! Oh shit, Drake's! Or Bivens. Set us down! We can attempt to find a way into the mountain under cover of this storm! There is little chance of that, with those creatures keeping watch from above. Once we land you, my comrades and I will draw off the beasts. It's a bird talking like a human. It's weird. It's cool, but it's weird. It's strange. <laughs> Let's hope those flying beasts are too occupied with the eagles to notice us. We can hope their eyes are less keen than those of our eagle friends. We may appear to be just a few more orcs among the hordes of Gundabad. It's a sad day when I have to hope I'm mistaken for an orc. Well, don't shoot them on sight. Kill him. There we go. Death. Awesome. And get the items, hopefully. I thought we were supposed to sneak in. Done. There we go, he's dead. Now I don't remember how to actually use Oh okay. It's the <laughs> It's a D pad. Ahead of us. They seem to be 
searching for something. Well, it can't be us. We've only just arrived, and they're heading the other way. But what then are they looking for? That's a fine question, my friends. One we will have to answer next time. Thank you for watching this episode of Wagon Place. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you join next time for more shenanigans. Until then, bye.